well as you can see I mean there's my there's three of my printers uh, you've heard me say my Airwolf is my workhorse it is my workhorse of my filament printers there's my Pegasus touch in the middle uh, the monitors I work off of you know the big machine I work off of and I moved to move over here um, and I'm going to do a couple of videos on this move printer I've had it for quite a while um, I've gave it some good words and honestly I have nothing bad to say about it it's actually finishing up a little dragon in there now I think it's about three or four inches tall it's got about 30 minutes left on it um, it's a DLP machine it should well it will print faster than my Pegasus SLA because the laser has to scan the whole platform this projects the whole image all at one time so if you're doing a small object like maybe this dragon they would be about the same but other than that if you're doing a large group of prints on a plate this is quicker that's the flex vat that's the standard flex vat uh, I have the larger flex vat which there's the build plate for it and that's my when you do really big prints that those holes will definitely make it grab now somebody said you know they don't like cleaning out the holes well it doesn't cure all the way through to the other side and you have to scrape it down it does cure in the holes a little bit i've found that if you're careful using the spatula that dean gives you with the move which is right there or using a small putty knife you can pretty much pop it all out and the holes are clean anyway uh, I've never spent more than three or four minutes cleaning up the holes on a build plate this also will keep it from getting air bubbles underneath it like it can with the the standard size build plate like that one there well there you go it has this set of holes in the middle that uh, lets air bubbles out it also helps stick a print that's in the center of this problem is you get a print that takes up three quarters of this build plate one one surface on this and uh, the suction force from it will pull it off the plate you really got to print it at an angle using support this solves that if you notice it's the same thing I have in there that's actually got all them holes you probably can't see it too well see um so, I'm going to put this on when I do my big one. I'll order this stuff when you get it. It's a good idea to file off the corners and file down the edges. You don't want to mess up the film in the build plate or in the vat. Um, there's another move right there on the floor. Uh, I picked that one up off of eBay from somebody. It doesn't have the Uber Z. It has the, uh, it has the, the linear slide or whatever, but I need to order Uber Z for it. And then what I'll do is I'll just pull the standard vat out, put it in that one, and put my flex vat in this one, my, my large flex vat in this one, and I'll have them both running. So that's where we're at right now. Um, anybody that's got one of these and got it actually working, I mean, they know it, it's a good printer. Um, Dad in the labs, he got rid of his for a form two. I haven't found out why I guess it just fitted his needs a little better I don't know he did a lot of good work with the move so I mean I do know that with their system you ain't got to pour the uh, the resin in it automatically keeps it full but well I just want to give you a slight update like I said I'm gonna do a couple of videos here in the next few days you'll also know that one of them you'll notice that that red my vat is red that's a 3d printed uh, vat wall I did right before Dean released his metal walls um, that's printed out of PLA I've had it in this printer well since right before the metal walls were released for the super vat or the, the flex vat and I've had resin in it the whole time and it has not affected the PLA so you can see that it's been leak free and that's a solid one piece 
so you don't ever have to worry about it. I'll go over that in my other video because I want to go over a couple things I did to this printer for me personally. And uh, I want to go over a few things like bed leveling stuff for people that are new because it can be a little tricky and a video seems to be the easy way for people to actually be able to do it because telling you how to do it and actually going through the steps when someone sees it they seem to be able to do it a little easier all right guys well thank you for now uh stay tuned